Howdy all and welcome to Black Lives. I think it's time to play a little seven days to die. Oh no, I fell right off. Yep, yep. Yes, I fell right off into the leftovers of my day 14 mess. I suppose it's better than falling off into the Christmas Eve mess. <laughs> oh wait, the Christmas Day evening of Christmas Day mess? I don't know. Whatever you call the giant pile of boxes and wrapping papers that are still not quite made it to the trash. Sort of things like that that are still near the tree today, this evening. I don't know. We, uh. <laughs> it's Christmas Day for me. Uh, which means nothing uh, here so much. Um, I mean, it's Christmas Day, sure, but we did our big Christmas thing. Oh man, look at the weird piles of bodies that. Was this where I was at? Oh, that's where I was hiding. This is the pile that I killed. Um, we do our stuff on the 24th, so... The 25th for me was just another day. In fact, I, I worked today. I, uh... <laughs> I... So, I, I find this a little weird, but... We, uh... We do family... Family Christmas, right? And uh, and so then my brother and his family they have their own Christmas, and they take one of the people from here to go to their family Christmas, uh, and then my sister and her family who also live here uh, have started their family Christmas as a separate thing. They do one present on family Christmas Day, which I'm a part of, and then they hold back most of their stuff for today to celebrate separately as a family for some reason. They live in the same house, so I don't know what the deal is. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, I realized today that because of all their Christmases, I'm like the only one that isn't part of more than one Christmas. I got one Christmas. Everybody else takes like seven or eight. Or two. You know. It's weird. It's weird. Days and sweets. That's a ride, though. Uh, it was pretty good yesterday. Uh, I, uh, I ended up with uh, $100 in steam bucks. And, uh, I'll tell ya, seeing a game and wanting it and buying it, pretty easy for me to manage. <clears throat> Being given a hundred dollars worth of money to spend on Steam, took me hours, hours of going through stuff to figure out what I wanted to buy. <laughs> I don't like to leave money on my account, which is probably the big issue. Oh, it's a bear. I'm not sure what I was seeing. And, uh... So, if I put $100 on there, I gotta spend $100. I'll, I'll spend $125, but... Uh, and so... Yeah... It was difficult. It was surprisingly difficult. I thought about just buying all the Final Fantasy games they have on there, because I love Final Fantasy. And uh, since I mostly play on my PC, it would be easiest just to put everything on the PC. Um, and I think you can get everything from 3 through 13 on there. Uh, 15 comes out in February, I think, on the PC. Uh, 14 and 11 are online games that I'm not interested in, but... So I could get, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, and 13, and... The 
sequel to 10 and the two sequels to 13. Plus uh, Type 0 or whatever that one's called. Uh, and the world of Final Fantasy. Uh, so it's not a bad collection. Uh, and since the Final Fantasies do come out on PC, I probably should, uh, you know, move to getting all my Final Fantasies together on the PC rather than continually... Uh, man, I feel like I traveled forever, and I look on here, and it looks like I haven't even gone around this town. Which direction am I facing at the moment? I think this is the direction I'm going to go. Maybe not. Nope, this is not... It really looked like that was the direction, though. I'm uh, looking for a road. There we go. But yeah, we had a pretty good time yesterday, I guess. I, uh... I'm talking to one of the guys that I... I game with, and I'm like, you know, I, I work today instead of, uh, oh, that was the, that was the start of my story about, uh, working today. Uh, yeah, let me, let me finish that. Uh, I, uh, I got up today and, uh, started making breakfast and they come in and they were chatting with me and they'd already done their, their family Christmas. And, uh, and so they were, all sitting around with their new stuff they got today, playing video games, watching movies, whatever. And uh, they're like, what's your big plan for today? And I'm like, well, I th think I'm just going to go down and work. And uh, they're like, what? What do you mean? I'm like, well, I mean, I know we're supposed to do something on Friday, and I'd prefer to have Friday off than today uh, so that I can participate rather than work but but it's Christmas and we all just had Christmas together I'm like yeah you had Christmas together I did mine yesterday uh, I'm thinking what, what do you want me to do sit here in the kitchen on a stool and watch you play with your new presents I don't <laughs> I don't know what you why you're so shocked that I would go do my regular Monday tasks on Monday. Uh, also, why do you have a problem with me wanting to just go ahead and go work? It was weird. It was a weird conversation. They didn't want to do anything with me. It's not like they're like, oh, we should play a game together as a family. I'd have probably done that. That wasn't the option. It was just... I can't believe you're gonna go work. It's wrong to work. It's not wrong to work. I didn't say that. It was just a weird reaction that they had. I don't know. I told them the other day I was probably just gonna wind up working on Christmas Day since uh, all our stuff was done. And it was just a Monday, and I might as well. So I did. Not only did I work today, but I worked. I worked extra hours a day. On top of that, I have been. It's uh, it's a little after eight, man. I have been working all day, and uh, wasn't just that though. Uh, I uh, my email went down, and I was looking. Uh, Looking on the internet about email being down for the company that's my ISP, and they were having a major issue all across the nation, and uh, with people not being able to access their emails, and um, uh, a lot of ISP, or like, I mean, it's my ISP, so. Uh, not just emails, but people haven't had internet for for days, and uh, I saw people talking about how they hadn't had uh, they hadn't had email since uh, Sunday of last week, and 
So that's like a week ago, over a week ago, and uh, so I'm like, oh man, and so I tried everything I could on my end to, to fix it, and it wasn't working. It was not fixing. And so today I'm like, mm, what are the chances they're going to have, uh, what are the chances they're going to have any kind of springs, gas can, there we go, that's what I want, gas can, just here to grab gas cans, because my bike looks like it's getting low. And, uh, so, now my sister, that's her, that's her, one of the things she pays. Uh, we've, we've split up the various bills, since we all live in the same house, and, uh, so the internet is the one she pays, and it's in her name. And so, I contact him, and I put my name on on the thing uh, when I contact them and the dude is like you're not the account holder I can't I can't where did that sniper rifle come from I don't even remember picking that up uh, I can't tell you I can't tell you if the account is working or not I'm like, well, that's a weird thing. Like, I can understand you can't give me access to the account, but I feel like you could at least look to see if it's working, if I need to move further in this. And it's not like I don't have all the information for the account sitting right here. He didn't ask me any questions to verify anything. just said, oh, well... Clearly, this account is not in your name. You have no access. Uh, and so I tried a few other things, and I finally, I, I'm like, okay, fine. So then I logged in as, well, you don't log in, it's chat. So you type in the name you want to be called, and so I typed in her name when I went back. And uh, that turned into like a two to three hour ordeal where... Uh, they said that my account had been suspended. My email account had been suspended. Uh, and... Which... Alright, fine. My account's been suspended. Can we turn it back on? Why was it suspended? No, no information on that. Uh... And, uh, so we had to go through, and we had to set up new email, or new passwords, and, um, uh, and he said, uh, your account was sending out spam. I'm like, right, I contacted you about the weird returned emails I was getting, uh, that were being sent from not my email but we're being returned to my email. I don't know what it is. I don't know where it comes from. None of them have my email address as the sending email address, so it's one of those reverse things, uh, you know, where you, I don't know. And so it's, for some reason, coming back to me. And so he said my account was suspended for that, and yet... When we get access to my account, it was still receiving those emails all the way up until yesterday, but I haven't had access to the account, could not log in to use the account since Wednesday. So that's a bit suspicious that it's my fault. When I haven't been able to access it since the 20th, but there's some of those things you said you suspended my account for going on on the 24th, which I didn't have access to the account yesterday. Which leads me to believe that your nationwide outage 
of email is because you have something going wrong. <laughs> it has nothing to do with me. And, uh, so, finally, finally, uh, when I go back on, I enter the other information, they ask me a bunch of questions, I have all the, af all the answers, all the account numbers and everything, and, um, they go through and, uh, tells me they're gonna have to change my password and to give them a new password. Uh, and so, I do. And then <laughs> tells me I have to wait for the supervisor to come so that the supervisor can unlock my account. And so I wait. And, uh, oh man, I thought I was picking those up. Oh, I picked up so many that I am full. I see. And so, uh... So they come back and they're like, all right, here you go, uh, we've put in your new password, you should have access to your account now, please attempt to access your account, and let me know. So I attempt to access my account. Now, instead of just telling me that uh, my password is invalid, now it tells me my account has been suspended. And this is a whole new error message. Not suspended, in, it's no longer active, is what the error message said. And I'm like, okay, this is telling me now this other thing. And they're like, well, that's not right, because I can log in from here. And I'm like, well, I'm just telling you what it says here. Well, why don't you try logging in from a different browser? I'm like, all right. I, I mean, sure, you know, the browser could be stuck thinking that whatever's gone wrong is still there. So I open a different browser. Same error message. And they're like, hmm, can you try to use Internet Explorer? I'm like thinking, I could, but I haven't used that in decades. And uh, so I load up uh, Edge. Is that what it's called now? Edge. And uh, uh, it doesn't work. And so I'm like, nope, same message. And I send them snapshots. Uh, here's the message where it says my account is not active and you have no authorization. Here's the message that says my account is inactive, uh, or not inactive, not active, and I have no authorization. And here's a third browser telling me the same information. Well, I can access it from here. I'm like, well, I'm glad you can access it from there, but that's not the problem, is it? So I'm like, you know what? Let me try it from my phone. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, I'm like, well, what else can I do once I check it from my phone? Because obviously it's going to come back with the same message. Oh, dang it. You know what? I forget that it does that. Uh, it swapped uh, it swapped the motor out on me. I forget that it does that. Drive me crazy. I could probably use this more than that. And uh, so, <laughs> you know, it's just like. I'm like, all right, I, I'll check the phone. Well, I'll sit here and wait for you to check it on your phone because I can access it from my end. No kidding, you're on the system. You're on the system. Could you please open it to outside access so I can access my account now that you've reactivated something that doesn't appear to have had anything to do with me? <clears throat> so... I enter the information on the phone. You know what it comes back with? The same error message. And so finally, like, can you try to clear the history, the cache, uh, I forget what else they said, of Internet Explorer and try again? And I'm like, I don't know how to do that. I don't use Edge. 
I don't know where all its sittings are at. I found a sitting, though, that said open as Internet Explorer. So I just went with that. And, um... Uh, I tried, uh, I tried, uh, with the other, exp with the other, uh, browsers just opening it in, um, uh, you know, a private window where it doesn't use the cache or the history or any of that, but that wasn't good enough for them. So, uh, yeah, but, uh, and so that finally after they did whatever they did and then told me to clear my cache and try again then it worked. Like, it's my fault. Like, I had to clear my cache from four different browsers, two different machines, all with the same error message. Pretty sure it's not on my end, buddy. Pretty sure. Uh, I also like the uh, about 15 minutes of... Uh, uh, I need one minute. I need just one minute. I need one minute. I'll be with you in one minute. I have one minute. Uh, one minute and should be good to go. Uh, it'll be a minute. <laughs> Whatever. My email works now. Whatever. Uh, although I, uh, I did notice while I was doing all that that apparently some of their settings had changed. And, uh, so I did swap my email over from, uh, I was logging in through the IMAP end, and they want you to log in through the POP3. Uh, so I swapped that around. I keep changing that stuff, I don't know. But, uh, yep, so it's all, it's all working again. Hopefully I don't get any more of those messages from their end. Uh... It really, from from what I had read, sounded like they were bringing down servers, uh, mail servers, all week, trying to stop whatever was going on. But they don't tell anybody anything, right? You never get the message that your email system's going to go down. It just stops working. I was down for days. Although I had a call to get mine reactivated, so... I don't know. It was weird. I'm glad it's fixed, though. It felt like I was cut off from the outside world, uh, which I guess wasn't terrible, but I don't get really any important emails and I that often, and so I don't know why I was felt that way from not having my email available, but it did. I had to check all my other emails, <clears throat> all my emails forward into that email, uh, and so you know I've got like three or four Google emails that feed into it, and one of my work emails feeds into it. Um, and so <laughs> all my all my uh, uh, notifications feed into it. It all just goes to that single single program that I use to run everything from, and it hasn't been able to access to get any of that information since Wednesday. It was weird. I mean, it just meant that I had to have multiple... Whoop, whoop, multiple windows open. For that kind of stuff, but... Whatevs. Yeah, tonight we're supposed to do a big one-shot D&D thing. Uh, I was going to get on here and play a little bit, but man, my work day... My work day was long. We had... Two hours of training to do. I was going to do it last week and I completely forgot about it. And then um, I did that. And then I did regular hours. And so pretty much from the time I got up until I stopped for dinner, I have just been working. All I want to do though is play my new video games. And I won't get a chance to do that because when we finish this... I have to go and, and make my character for tonight, because I haven't done that yet. I should have done that. I should have did that yesterday. Uh, and instead, I spent hours staring at Steam games. Little glitchy there. Uh, staring at Steam games, trying to figure out what I wanted to get. I'd tell you what I... <coughs> Whoa. A little bit cough there. Uh, I'd tell you what I, I wound up getting um, was... Um, uh, 
couple of sequels. Uh, I've, I've been really enjoying the Batman Telltale game, and they had a sequel to it, and so I grabbed that. Uh, there was a new game that said it was similar to Transport Tycoon, but made with modern graphics and stuff. I love Transport Tycoon, so I grabbed that. Um, there's a couple of little uh, dungeon crawlers, which I enjoy, so I grabbed those. I have like 250 things on my on my uh, wish list, and so, you know, having to look through 250 things to try and figure out what I... Well, I'm running a deep scan antivirus at the moment, which is probably one of my experience a couple of little glitches here and there. Um, you know what? You know what? Ooh, I don't know that. Shotgun slug ammo. Interesting. Okay, now. Yeah. Oh crap, that dog just appeared. I don't have a bed here, so I gotta be careful not to get killed. Here, miner, farmer, whatever you are. Oh, well, I'll take those bullets, man. The guy who gives me bullets. Oh yeah, I'm riding a bike. I guess I don't need that one. I better get some some grass here. But yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be. Whoa. be fun tonight. We're supposed to roll up uh, level 19 characters, which are uh, almost max level characters. And apparently we're going to go... Uh, I asked the guy who runs our game, I'm like, dude, where are we going? And what other character is going to be there? I don't know how to make my character if I don't know what's going on. Like, we're using characters we already have. Uh, we did a one-shot... I don't remember when. And, uh, so we're gonna use those same characters again. But, uh, last time for us, we were like level 6 or something. So he had us make level 12 characters so we could play a level 12 knight. And so tonight we're gonna play level 19 knight. And, uh, so I've gotta convert my level 12 character into a level 19 character. I'm like, it's hard for me to know what to do, man, because he just is 19. Just bam. And I don't know where we're going, what kind of skills I need to to go into. I mean, like, I don't, I'm not trying to, to min-max my character, but, uh, you know, I have to have a spell list prepared, and, um... You know, without knowing where we're going, I don't necessarily know what what spells to have ready. Uh, uh, and it's a little more complicated because he gave us uh, uh, high-level artifacts last time, and he says we still have them. And so my dude's got a staff that lets him add three spells from any any list to his uh, spells uh, that I could cast and uh, so I still need I still need to go over all the spells in the game because uh, level 19 is high enough to cast all the spells in the game and so I gotta figure out uh, you know like I've got one level 9 spell slot so do I add other level 9 spell slots so I can pick between them? Do I just go with the one level 9 spell I think is going to be the most useful to me? Uh, and, you know, pick those three spells, because it can be any level spells from any spell book in the game. And so it's a lot. It's a lot I gotta get ready, and it's... You know, probably about an hour, hour out. It's the last thing I gotta do, though, is I've, I've basically got everything else ready to go. And as soon as I figure out the spell list 
And then uh, I play a warlock, uh, or this character is a warlock, and so um, it's got some things called Eldritch Invocations, and I gotta figure those out yet, too. Yeah. Uh. Well, I think I survived another another horde night. Uh, we got a new recipe, albeit a recipe for a weapon that I don't really use. I've never been a big fan of the shotguns in this game. That's not true. They used to be amazing. Uh, there was a point in time where everything was more powerful and things have been toned back and I miss the days of everything dies from my shotgun. Shotgun used to be my weapon. Uh, and now it just doesn't <laughs> doesn't do it for me. I need my sniper rifles now. Which I guess I've got. To, I'm a little uh, tempted to uh, not uh, not combine the second sniper I just picked up with the first one so that I have a backup for just in case. Anyways, I have got some stuff to do, so I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Not that it isn't the normal time to end an episode. Uh, but, uh, oh, 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 get off me, you cowboy. Look at that, that's two recipes today I didn't have the manage to pick up. Nice. Alright, with that, click like if you like. Subscribe to sure and catch the next one. I will talk to you later.